Yeah. Do you see many like um, facial similarities between type? I mean, you and I don't look very much alike. Except <laughs> the, the, the thing is, the thing is, like, uh, we both have smiling eyes. We got smiling eyes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what about cheekbones? Like your face is longer. Like I would think that you would be what people would say is an introvert by, um, by the length of your face, and you're quite tall, right? I'm six because, four. Yeah. So that's a, so you see so a lot of stereotypically people say like extroverts tend to be more roundish, wide, and introverts are more. I know. I, I don't think I, that's I know, true, um, though, because like I think I think of NFJs as having roundish faces, and it's true for being. I think it's more true for ENFJs, but I think it ended up being true for both INFJs and ENFJs. INF, INFJs for me have this hard shape here. Like if you look at an INFJ, it's they've got this the eyes that are kind of roundish, and then the there's a specific. It's almost like romantic it's 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 like they have a heart on their face Maybe so, that's so what funny. <laughs> so what's the uh physical similarity between us then exactly see um i do think that we've got a, a, a nice deep uh smiling lines here because we're probably laughing all the time <laughs> that's yeah. happening yeah we do um I, d I probably if we were to scan our faces will wrinkle in a similar way due to similar facial expressions being repeated over time so i got i developed this line and these lines um as a teenager because i was constantly going like what, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> like you know like you're always like perplexed and even as a child, people are like, why are you pulling faces at people? I'm like, why are you pulling faces at people? Or is it just my, I'm just acting out that one emoji. Yeah, I was just like, and then my face is just like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> and obviously I try to control it a bit more now, but so I would suggest maybe we, we could look at like how the muscles have been worn out. Oh, we, um, we do both have bump, bump cheeks, bump cheeks right do. here, you know, cheek bumps, I guess you'd say. Right here. Yeah. Which, mm, I see that. Um, and I think that there's an un, a not very easily definable quality called laughing eyes. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily have to do with eye shape or anything, but I think we both have it, which is yeah. There's there seems uh, to well, be like a twinkle. <laughs> there seems to be a twinkle in e and in actual e and eyes that I can kind of spot. You know. Yeah, ENTPs can have the twinkle in their eyes. And I think um, some intuitive types and SE types notice it. So in the SE type, if you look at them, probably ESTP and ISTP, if you look at them, it may be something to do with TI, but you look at them and you go like, and then they notice the little micro expressions and they're like, you know, when you have people in a group and all you need to do is just take a glance at them like what the hell is this person talking about like are you seeing what i'm seeing you know there's a couple of times that get it like there's almost a sub reality of us communicating with regards to this conversation if you have experienced that yeah but that that is a combination of fe and n i think oh really yeah so fe right. the combination of fe and n above s means you're very alert to linguistic subtext that that not everybody's paying any attention. Some people aren't paying any attention to it at all. I got people or people. Yeah. It's like, did he really say that? Like, but you don't have to say it. You just look at someone and they know. And they're like, oh yeah, we know. We're going to have a laugh about this after this meeting's done. <laughs> it, it's about like uh, understanding the universalist implications of something that's being only understood in the particularist by others in the group. I think what you might describe that phenomenon as. Yeah, I suppose my eye roll would be another one. This is one that I'm trying to control. It's like, oh my god, again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the thing is, your eye roll is very clearly an eye roll too. It's not like your your eye, your the dark part of your eye, successfully hides behind droopy <laughs> droopy eyelids as well as mine does. You know. Yeah, I've got I've got a very very um, developed expression. I have the frustrated sigh, which I use at work as well. It goes like people know that that means like, do I have to repeat myself again? This is just 
just I have no words. It, it, <laughs> it's done. a silent sigh because you're actually dealing with another human being. When I have that same sigh, it's usually because I'm dealing with some thing that won't TE cooperate, and it sounds like this. Oh. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Do you curse a lot when you like bump, like um, hit your? Oh yeah, I had a, I had, a, I have, I was, I was thinking about something. Why do I? That, why do ENTP will bump into a wall? Is it because SI and I don't know where my elbow is, or is it the weak SE and I don't know where the wall is, or is it both? It's SI if it's a familiar place. So in other words. If I had good SI, I'd know my environment well enough to have a clear sense of where I am in relationship to the wall, more or less at all times. If it's a new place, then it's SE, because you're you're expecting... The lack of the fact that you've bumped into anything in this new place before should indicate to you that there's no way you're going to bump into anything. Because, after all, it's never happened before. The fact that it's a new place, well, that's an intuition kind of <laughs> objection, not really a SI <laughs> objection. So, I think I think that uh, if you're in a new place and you're bumping into things, it's because you're not paying attention to the external world enough and you're caught up in your head. If you're in your own environment, like, how many times am I going to knock this over before I don't put it there anymore, Eric, is something that <laughs> I have said to myself many times. Or yeah. Maybe you should move the couch a little further from the wall, which I had to do because I kept doing exactly that, banging my elbow into this thing right here, this doorknob of this door that is, like, I've got it set up so dumb that the couch is not quite far enough away from the door for me to actually close the door. So since it's, it's never, I never open or close it, now it's all pressed up against here with some tables and a little trash can and my pee bucket and stuff. So the door's not going anywhere for until I move a bunch of shit just to open and close this door. Why do I have to set it this way? Because I don't open and close it naturally often enough to justify having to set up any other way. Exactly. <laughs> it's, 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 you're saving time, right? It's not worth <laughs> the, the effort. <laughs> okay, oh these kind of things can be really tough calculuses, though, because they're calculated. Yeah. Because it's like... It is true that, okay, like, when I'm done with this, I'm going to move this camera back over there and move this out of the path and um, probably, like, uh, clean up a bit and get myself ready for the next thing. But then the next thing might very well be to plug these things back in, put them back over here, and do something else that involves them. I don't know until after I put them away. Yeah, yeah. Do you find yourself, so, so this is my other life hack for, for an ENTP, is um, no, you will not finish it later. Tidy up now. <laughs> no, leaving your, like for example, I've got this office here now, but sometimes I take my laptop downstairs, I'm on the sofa, something might be on TV in the background, it's just a bit a different setup, right? I'll take my laptop, I'll check my bills or whatever it is that I have to do and hate doing <laughs> like i take it downstairs and watch it move like i'll try to soften the blow of doing anything i them. but then i'll probably won't finish it in one day so the stuff just lays there with like the 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 one bill second bill then i have to file it and it's just such fraud i hate doing stuff like that anyways but i've noticed that it's better for me to just tidy it up at night and just completely get rid of it and then start over again, rather than having it open, because I will end up having that open on the sofa whilst I started doing something in the kitchen, let's say I'm fixing something that broke, and then in my bedroom, there's another little project which I have started and it's not finished, and the same happens here, and I walk around the house and it's like I have an amnesia. You've I got stations, to... you've got stations, like an elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> no but it's like i have an amnesia i'm walking to the room and it's like oh yeah i was doing this thing and then i go downstairs no i was doing this thing i go into the kitchen and it's like wasn't i making myself a cup of tea <laughs> well it, it's, it's a reality when any t any task asks you to wait the capacity to multitask yeah. to assign a uh 
to assign a machine to doing something while you're not doing yes. it yourself means you say, okay, I'm going to, like, like last night I was 10 minutes late to this typing session because in the 20 minutes I have between when it was when I thought this, when, when I got the last, like, 30 minutes between there, I got the last notification from Google Calendar, like 30 minute warning or whatever. Um, I'm just going to work on this thing on the Mindy's Club channel to organize things within these playlists. And I did, and then Rachel comes in at like 8.09 and says, no typing session? And I'm like, ah! I got caught up, with, I got lost in what I was doing and I forgot to go back to that yep. other thing. Right. Yeah, for sure. So the reason, and now you say that, it's absolutely, yeah, the reason why laptop will be there and finished is because some bullshit, like you have to wait for the password reminder email and it's just not come within my preferred life preferred time frame of one minute because i'm not waiting more than one minute <laughs> i'll probably be up in another room by that point and then i have forgotten and the microwave you know tea it's taking the entire two minutes so that's not going to happen i'm just going to move on right well I, I, do you see how i uh my thank you so much rachel uh were you sharing this for hi yeah. rachel she oh, she, she can't hear you. <laughs> Aga says hi. Hi, Aga. Um, when I got up to do the coffee, I forced myself to not sit back down. Yeah, you have to sit. Yeah, absolutely. So, yes. Until it was done. Yes. <laughs> I have to. I sometimes stand with my hands folded and don't look at my phone. <laughs> and I'm just literally standing there, not moving, because I feel like my mind was just go is just going to get me distracted. It's going to have another brilliant idea. It's going to be life changing, revolutionary, and compulsive for me to go into a different room and do something else. And it's like, no, we were going to wait this one minute for this little thing. Well, that's when it's time for this the the impatient T E S C sigh. Hmm. <sighs> Okay. 45 seconds. <sighs> okay. I guess no point. Okay, fine. I'll just sit here. It's like when the, the premieres, I'm, I want to watch one of my own premieres, and I get there when it first starts, and it's like two minutes of, of this song that's the loudest it's thing like, on oh the my internet. God. <laughs> that song is the loudest thing on the internet. The, the, the premiere song for YouTube. It's no always minutes. louder. It's always louder than anything that comes after it. <laughs> And uh, it plays for two minutes, and I go, okay, there's no way I'm waiting here for two minutes. I come, I think I go do something for what I think is a long time, I come back, there's like a yeah. minute, 15 seconds left. So I'm like, ah, okay, uh, let me go do this. And then I'm like, oh shit, it's eight minutes into the premiere, and I'm, I got caught yeah, up. Where did the thing. time go? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so similar. It's exactly the same. Like, if I have to wait for something, and it's a few minutes, it feels like a year. But then when I'm doing something, it's like, where did the hour go? I don't know. 